so now I've showered and I'm ready to go to bed but it's all I'm getting is ignorance out of you ballickers where is the shit that you build you want to come to me and tell me that the fucking towers are further apart at the top that's to accommodate for the working load so that they kind of plumb up when the load is on the fucking structure you idiot I'm a builder I put them fucking bridges up I erect the skyscrapers if you go on to a city that has a length to it why is the fucking vertical on this building the same as the vertical on the end of the fucking building at the other end they're the same there's no deviance whatsoever I'm not just some mad fucking idiot out here I observe reality and I let observable reality speak for itself and when we build these structures we anticipate the workload that's why there is a working load limit on fucking everything we do and you're just too fucking stupid to comprehend it I can't help you out your indoctrination is deep I'm not the one that put the mobile in your crib I'm not the one that showed you the fucking spinning ball fucking bullshit fucking globe from the preschooler and kindergarten desk that's what they told me too I was in the same boat as you are but as long as you come at me with this horse shit here is formulas theories and effects that create this for you I present reality I let reality present itself the observable reality dude all of you if you were on this thing here supposedly spinning counterclockwise a sphere spinning counterclockwise if you were on this and you were anywhere on it you were at the highest point of it the immediate moment that you ascend from the surface of it you would already have to start looking down to observe the land mass against the air around you Take your globe and spin it. 
Take your globe and spin it. Don't matter the size of the globe that you spin. Scale model, you scale it down. And you're gonna fucking comprehend reality because reality speaks for itself. Doesn't need no third person. Doesn't need no fucking rhetoric and no bullshit. That's all you spinning ball believers present is rhetoric and bullshit. The same shit that you were instructed to believe. I ain't new at this. I've been at it a long time. A long, long time. I am growing matter that you all <clears throat> come onto my channel and insist what a fucking idiot fool I am without any actual physical proof of what you say other than the bullshit they fucking tell you that this thing is spinning at 1040 miles an hour at the equator oh but you gotta take into consideration that that's only fucking 15 degrees per minute yeah how's that 15 degree per minute equate from Alaska to North America here to the equator here how does all that shit work that it's only spinning 1040 miles an hour at the equator making it 750 feet per second at the fucking 45th parallel where we're at I'm at the 49th but we're gonna talk about the 45th because I've been there too and that's the approximation of LA and New York and how does it take the same amount of time for a plane to fly from New York to LA as it does the same plane to refuel in LA and fly back to New York? New York is spinning away at such tremendous speed that you can't even comprehend it. You can't understand it. But they want you to. I get all this shit from you motherfucking ball jocks that I don't get it. No. You're absolutely incorrect on that fucking fallacy because I tried to prove this. I tried to prove this. That's why I am where I am today. Because you can't prove this except with rhetoric and fucking shit that you've been told your entire life. There's absolutely no observable fact of reality that substantiates this horse shit right here. You think that when the earth is on the fucking one side spinning 15 degrees and then it's got a circle in its orbit counterclockwise around the sun and go faster to get around to where it's supposed to be again and then slow down again 
you better figure it out. It ain't me trapped in this reality. It's you. I'm just your ticket out. These spinning ballers are ballers bunch of buffoons because they cannot prove what they say with reality. They can only mimic what they say is reality. And there is absolutely nothing whatsoever that substantiates the claim of the reality that, they're, that you fucking ballless, ball-sucking bitches are supposed to be observing. It's not what you're supposed to be observing, it's what you do observe. But what they tell you just don't fucking pan up and add up to this. The first thing they do is they tell you that the earth is tilted at 23.4 degrees. You take 23.4 degrees off 90 degree vertical, you end up with 66.6. .6. And that's their number, not mine. They tell you that you're spinning at over a thousand forty miles an hour at the equator. That's over fifteen hundred feet per second when you figure it out. That's faster than most every modern handgun produced today shoots its projectile. Yet it takes the same amount of time for the plane flights from LA to New York as it New York to LA, vice versa. They have emergency landings on this thing. All, you only have to investigate the reality that they present for you to come to the realization that it is not any fucking feasible means or reality whatsoever but hogwash. I can tell you the sun comes up tomorrow morning when I get up and go to work because it has some kind of a circular pattern but you shouldn't believe it you should investigate it but you don't you believe wholeheartedly bitch boys I'm done talking to you you have nothing to say that hasn't been said. Let's get the instruments going and let's do some measuring using simple mathematics of addition or subtraction of whole inch numbers. Simply, not a formula that's too big you can't comprehend. Simplicity. Keep it simple, stupid. Let's go measure it. Why are you all a bunch of ballless bootlickers who will not even attempt to measure? You want to come with me at rhetoric and fucking nonsense? I said this, I said that. No, it's what's observable and it's what reality presents. If there's a curve out there on a coastline in America, anywhere, you will be able to measure it if this is a fact. But you can't. I have tried. That's why I have that $5,000 bet, bitch boys. Because I know that you can't prove otherwise. 
I don't place bets that I think I might win or lose. No. I don't play that game. I don't play a game. The game I do play is life and reality. And what reality presents. And the day that the fucking spinning ball earth is proved through actual physical measurements by a mechanical means, hard measuring the curvature and hard measuring the motion, I will shut my channel down and shut the fuck up. I really will. So, let's go do some measuring you want to shut me up. Otherwise, keep your fucking nonsensical fucking rhetoric to yourself. Quit fucking trying to belittle me. I have shown you my work. I have shown you my play. And you've shown and demonstrated nothing but idiocy. Stupid fucking comments. I said, I said. I don't give a fuck what you said. I really don't. And to tell you the truth, nobody else really cares what you said or what they said. They really want the measurements to begin. I'm the originator of the measurements. The two absolute musts for Earth to be a spinning ball is it must have observable, recordable, measurable by mechanical means, curvature, measurable, recordable, observable motion by mechanical means. I am the originator of that. And you want to play your game with me, bitch boys? Come at me. But you better have a goddamn good fucking reality exposure. Because I don't give a fuck about your rhetoric. I don't give a fuck about what you say. I truly don't. There's nothing really to say to you. You're an idiot. You're a double dumb stupid motherfucker. I've already said that more than once. Let's go measure some shit, bitch boys. Let's go fucking measure this spinning ball. Curvature drop. You better have curvature drop. Any direction. Any fucking direction. You want to go out anywhere. On a salt flat or on a flat plane surface that you... And now you're saying, well, you know, now you want to go on a flat. Well, let me just fucking ask you one question. Where are you going to get a sphere that has flat to it? You're purporting the earth is a sphere. Yet you want to argue about the flatness of the water. Water maintains a flat level surface tension for purposes I've described in the past. So I won't get into it there. But it always maintains that surface tension of levelness, of flatness. It never fucking deviates. So go ahead and come at me. I got nothing to lose. Money is not shit. It's only an obstacle to create the illusion. Okay, Sean, come and tell me I owe you fucking money because you fucking proved a spin ball. You didn't prove shit, boy. You're a ballless, ball-sucking bitch boy. 
And one day, when you least expect it, I will show up at your door and knock. Give me your address, bitch boy. You got mine. You got my fucking address, bitch boy. Let me have yours. See how tough you are when I show up on your doorstep and say, Hey, Sean, remember me? I'm in RAM. I'm the man you fucking insulted and assaulted on YouTube. Now let's get this shit done. I'll bet you don't, you ball of cock sucking little bitch boy. Bet you don't do shut, but shut the fuck up. We'll see how I feel a little later, whether or not I even feel like making another video. Guaranteed I will. Because I'm still waiting for the acceptance of the bet that I presented. It's black and white. There is no fucking questions. It will demonstrate whether or not Earth has curvature or a flat level surface. But y'all want to come at me like I'm a fucking fool and tell me that the videos I upload of the sun coming into view and leaving view is obvious that it's a spinning ball? No, you're a fucking bunch of retards because if Earth was a spinning ball with all the fucking negligible fucking radiuses and speeds of the fucking spin and the fucking diameters and the fucking distances of the sun and all the fucking bullshit you would not observe the reality you observe so I'm done for now I'll be back later perhaps perhaps tonight perhaps not Perhaps tomorrow morning on my way to work. But one way or another, someone's going to fucking be an idiot enough to take me up on the fucking offer. I guarantee it. One of you fucking idiots will fucking put a fucking $2,500 check and some other idiot will add to it a $2,500 check. So you'll have your 5000 and I already got mine. There ain't no questions about that. I gave you my fucking paycheck stub. Here it is again. There it is. Right there. See my name? Brian Miner. R. Brian Miner. Right here. The 11,000 plus. Right there. Under my finger. That's what I made in the month of January. Look at the pay stub. Study it. Look at it close. Study it. They don't pay me to be an idiot, you fucking moron. I'm done with you. We'll see you later.